All right, guys, back with another video again already. Um, on this one, I'm going to go over something that one of, I believe they're a subscriber, but one of the subscriber subscribers has asked. They wanted to know, actually a few people wanted to know, how do you take a player from a draft class and put them directly into any roster? without drafting them like before you go into any mode can i just put them into any roster i'm going to show you that right now let's do it all right so i'm going to take you guys through a couple of players um the first thing you're going to need guys you're going to need a program called cheat engine i want to delete that um yeah you need cheat engine and while you have the game up inside of cheat engine i think i have an old version of cheat engine but you want to find the process for nba 2k17.exe so i open that up and now that it's open it'll say nba 2k17 up here at the top and then you want to open up a file uh the link to this file is in the description if you're not watching the videos and you're not looking at the descriptions, then please don't comment. Like if you're just looking at the title, then asking questions, please do not comment on any of these videos. All right. Anyway, push that little folder open icon. You want to get this NBA 2K17 edit any player in edit menu. And um, again, this download is available now the link is in the description of how to get this this is a cheat table cheat engine table so what i do is i click it open okay here it says nba 2k17 so i'm not going to click that not yet first thing i want to do is i want to go to roster creator uh let's see edit draft class so i'm going to use i've got to find Blue Jay Brandon's draft class. I know I passed it. So this is the one from 2017. Let's see. So this one, oh, something is wrong. Okay, let me. Well, this is a lesson for you guys. I don't have my um. I don't have my mod my mod in, which actually gives me the photo. So I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna uh, exit without saving, and really quickly. Don't pay too much attention to this part, but let's see. I've got to enable my mod. Um, yeah, and right now I'm doing something that a lot of you probably don't know how to do, but if you have this mod pack for Blue Jay Brandon's draft class, then it'll already be in your modded folder. Don't worry about what I just did. Um, if some of you guys are familiar with modding and you've seen that tool before and you want to know, Hey, what are you doing? Just write me in the, write me in the comments and I'll, you know, I might make a video depending on how many people want to know. But anyway, all right. So now I've enabled the, the draft class mod. So let me go back to edit draft class. Find that 2017 draft. Bam, now we got the pictures. Now we got the correct picture. All right, so let's say, hmm, who do I want to take? Uh, Dennis Smith. By the way, I'm trying to create a face for Dennis Smith. Uh, I'll take De'Aaron Fox. Let's say you want De'Aaron Fox in your roster. So first thing you want to do, just go to edit player. This is not, I'm sorry guys, it's not going as I planned. Let's, I forgot to, I didn't put the cyber face in for him. Oh, you know what? I'm using an old version. I'm going to start this video over. No, I'm not. All right. I'll keep going with the video. Let's see. Can't remember which one of these guys have gotten the game. There we go. There we go. There we go. Josh Jackson. Let's use Josh Jackson. Um, yeah, let's stay right here in this edit menu. Then you want to pull up your cheat engine. Then you want to press uh, in this 
white area, just click there, press Control A, and then press your space bar, and that selects everything, everything about this guy. At least, you know, the values that I have in Cheat Engine. So, you press space bar, now you back out. Don't, it doesn't matter if you save or abort, it doesn't matter. Just back out of the draft class altogether. Now go to create a player and find, you know, here's, here's one. Here's a created player I'm going to replace. His name is Random Edit. So I'm just going to replace that person by going to, going to edit them and bam. Since I have all of these values selected in Cheat Engine still selected, it automatically just, it, the game still reads all of that information. So now while you're in the, create a player menu you go to accept changes and return and bam the random edit character has been changed to Josh Jackson so if you want to do this for several players you just have to keep going back to the roster creator and edit draft class and we'll do we'll do one more let's uh as a matter of fact let's let's switch it up here Let's do something different. Let's take a different player from a different draft class. Oh man, this draft class is horrible. Wait, what is going on? Is this, is this the one I created? Hold on one second, guys, because I don't know. Edit draft class. Yeah, edit draft class. 1998 in LSC. Ah, I guess it was. We're going to take the rookie Vince Carter and just go on to edit player. Ah, oh, shoot. Forgot to turn off cheat engine. So this is what happens. So now rookie Vince Carter is showing as Josh Jackson. I'm glad I made this mistake because this is what happens if you forget to turn this off. So what we're going to do here is we're going to abort changes. We don't want to save. Go back into cheat engine. Press space bar. Everything is unselected. Go back to Vince Carter. Go to edit player again. And now we start the process over. So let's take. Go back to cheat engine. Press space bar. Go back to the game. Doesn't matter if you accept or board. At this point, get out of this menu, exit without saving. Yeah, I can exit without saving. I don't want to save anything. Go back to my creative player menu. Oh, here we go. Another random character. I named this one another one. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is open that player up. And remember, I have everything still selected in Cheat Engine. So I'm going to open this player up. Hmm, he didn't become Vince Carter. So just abort. All right. So if it doesn't work, just abort, get out, and then go right back in. And then they should be the player you want. The one thing I have noticed is I think the eyes... You, now you're able to change the eye color or whatever. It won't, the eye color won't, I'm not even sure if the eye color matters, but anyway, you won't notice the eye color, but let's accept changes and return. Now we have Vince Carter. So this player went from being another one to Vince Carter. The first one was random edit, changed it to Josh Jackson. So now I have these guys in my creative player pool. And just remember, once you finish doing that, once you finish adding a player to your created player, um, created player list, go to cheat engine and press space bar to unselect. You can press space bar to select, space bar to unselect. And remember, you have to, when you're first doing this, you have to come in here and press control A, then space bar to select everything. And I'll show you why, because if, if you don't press control A and you just press space bar, 
Like you just go here, press spacebar, you won't get everything. So you have to press Control A, then spacebar. And then if you want to unselect everything, you can just press spacebar again. Okay. Anyway, back to the game. So now, now that I finished adding rookie Vince Carter and rookie Josh Jackson to uh to my creative player roster. I unselected everything in Cheat Engine. And now here's the part that I wanted to show you guys. So now we go into any roster. Let's just pick a roster. Um, college league. I do have a college. Yeah. So I have a college league. Uh, I don't have that mod enabled right now. So. I'm going to pick another roster. Edit roster. All right. So in this roster, I have a lot of teams. I think I have every team that's in this game unlocked, like the uh, special all time collegiate teams that 2K had. So let's do this. So now let's go to our creative player list. Find that Josh Jackson. And guess what, guys? We can copy him to free agency or we can copy him to a team. Now, if you choose to copy him to a team, you can only select the regular, the regular NBA teams. Won't let you select any of the special teams, but you can get them on a regular team and then just swap or trade with another team if you want. But anyway, let's, uh, let's see. Let's get Josh Jackson. Let's, Copy him to free agency. Then get rookie. Let's see. Get rookie Vince Carter. Uh, I'm sorry. This keeps going across the screen, guys. But, yeah, that you can't put females in the game also. Uh, get rookie Vince Carter. Copy him to free agency. And then if we go to free agency, they're the top two guys. So now... <clears throat> I can assign him to a team. I don't know which team has a slot open for him. Let's see. I'll just get rid of somebody, anybody. Oh, uh, as a matter of fact, let's just put, uh, let's see, the Suns. We're going to put Josh Jackson on his real team. Who would they get? John Jenkins, they're probably not going to have him. Oh, Archie Goodwin. He's not even on there anymore. Release him to free agency. I go back to the free agents and get Josh Jackson and assign him to the Suns. There they are. Push yes. Now Josh Jackson is on the Suns. So if you had put every player from your 2017 draft class, in your creative player pool, you can add them all to free agency and start assigning them all to teams. And you don't have to go through the edit menu and e edit each individual attribute and all of that crap. It just takes too long. This is a quick and easy way to do it. So go back over to the sun. We're going to take one last look to make sure it was successful. And right underneath Devin Booker, we have Josh Jackson. And his, his player picture looks pretty good. Man, that's a pretty good mod. But anyway, so, and for you guys who are wondering, how do I get that Josh Jackson? How do I get that? Like, when I include links in the description, you have to go to those links. And sometimes the link is not to a direct download. Sometimes it's to a, a forum, a forum thread post about the download. Um, so like, for this one, this is included in Blue Jay Brandon's 2017 draft class, this cyberface. I mean, the guy donated money to me. And so I, you know, I created this for him just for, you know, supporting me being a modder. So this will only be available by going to his draft class, downloading his draft class pack. All right. So the, the link to his draft class will be in the description. If you want to download Josh Jackson, De'Aaron Fox. Um, he's got Markel Fultz. Um, he's got a couple other guys. 
If you want to download those guys, you have to go to the link in the description and then download from there. It'll be a forum post, but he has links to his mod pack. If you don't want to do that, don't ask about the don't ask about it. All right. If you guys want to get exclusive, you know, if you guys want to get cyber faces, you either have to wait for somebody to release them on their own. I've released just regular cyber faces by themselves or you can donate to somebody to make you a cyber face. Or you can learn how to make them yourself. And I know people are going to say, well, somebody needs to do a video and show us how to make them. Uh, nobody showed me how to make them. I had to do a bunch of reading on the NLSC. So you guys can do the same thing. Reading is fundamental. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not even sure if I'm, yeah, I'm still recording. Okay. All right, guys. Till next time. I'm out.